Matt, this felt like the newest, biggest game of the year, and to beat the first place team the way you did it, staying to the task all night long, playing great as a team, how much does that give your team a little extra confidence here as this home stand continues? Yeah, that was a big one. I think uh, just that was how we play through and through, just kind of solid all over the ice, making plays, being good defensively, and when it came down to the shootout, but we got the job done. Goals have been harder to come by five on five, but consistently, Matt, in this building, you guys have been able to score on the power play. Why do you think the power play has been so good here in St. Paul all year? I don't know. Sometimes it just works out like that. Um, just moving the puck well, getting into spots, kind of changing up, giving different looks. It's When you can have different looks and stuff like that, it's a little bit harder to defend. And when you get guys rolling around like Suki and Kirill and Indecky in front, they make it pretty easy. The shootout is built for offensive specialists like you. As you're watching the first three shooters, how much are you watching Jake Ottinger to try to figure out your game plan when you get out there? Yeah, you're definitely looking. Um, I mean, we have three unbelievable shooters before me, so kind of watching them and what, what they do and how they break them down a little bit gives you an idea. But you come down and you, you kind of got to make your read on your own too if he wants to play it a different way or be a little bit more aggressive. But, yeah, when we got our, our first three shooters going, I, I'm pretty confident. You made a huge impact on this game. Congratulations, young man. Thank you very much. Matt Boldy makes the play on the power play goal, and then he secures the shootout win by beating Jake Ottinger for the GWG in the shootout, and Minnesota gets those important two points.